Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is a Kevin's Shop video. I use a lot of spray paint, and I found that some of my cans, if they get older than one year or so, there's a greater tendency for them to uh, clog up. And even though you shake them well, um, they will still clog. And um, I've even gone and gotten extra caps, and that sometimes helps, but even the cap can get clogged if the paint can hasn't been shaken well. Um, so I had this idea of creating my own paint shaker so that I could really shake these well and maybe get some extra life out of some of these older cans of paint. I've got my parts finished now for my paint shaker and uh, I'm going to put this together and then I'm going to mount the assembly to this mounting board. I've assembled my paint shaker accessory and I want to drive this with my uh, electric drill and um, this is tapped to 3 8 uh, 24 thread and I'm going to use this, um, take this chuck off of here and use this threaded shaft so I need to come up with something that I can support this drill while it drives this accessory. Mount for my drill, this is just a simple little uh, mount. I put some um, a piece of leftover carpet here to cushion the drill and then this is just a thumb screw hose clamp and it holds it really well and then of course I've threaded it into this uh, shaft here uh, with the uh, 3 8 24 stud that came out of my drill. So what I need to do is I want to control the speed of this because I can't run this at full speed. So this is a variable speed drill and so I want to come up with a, something that I can partially uh, depress this trigger on this drill and adjust the speed of the drill. To, um, actuate the trigger on my drill slightly. I decided just to use a, a C-clamp, but I needed something to kind of hold that in place. So I made this clip here, and I just welded a washer on the back here where the uh, shoe of this uh, uh, C-clamp can stay in place, and then it slides back and forth on this clip, and it holds it uh, securely. Then I can just adjust the uh, amount of uh, RPM of my drill by using this uh, adjustment on the C-clamp. So I have this all set up. I've clamped this down to my workbench. And then I have this switched outlet that I can plug my drill into and that way I can turn it on and off. And then I've adjusted the RPM uh, correctly with my little C-clamp clip assembly here. And so I'll go ahead and put a can in here and tighten this down. and I'll turn that on. 